Pretty sure that's not how this is going to work. Count it out to them. 10 plus 10 plus 20 equals 40. Now I'm down to 90, right? No, you see, that's 40 cents. Cents are a form of currency 100 times smaller than the real. I'm not even going to take this. Come back when you have 130 real. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Everything is my business. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. Okay, so you have the hearts for Sylvie? Thank you. Didn't go well. I asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now, what is so goddamn fascinating about that for you? It's got nothing to do with the lynching. So a dead body in a tree is actually a lynching. Okay. Everything has something to do with something. This is correct. Good for you. Uh, was there something else? I'd like to get back to what I was doing. Yeah, where exactly is the body? Behind this building, there's a courtyard. They hoisted him up on a tree there. They. Hoisted him up on a tree. How do we get there? That's easy. See that door there? First you exit through that. Then to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. You can get to the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Franco-Nigerian? Franco-Nigerian? Nigeria, France? This man means the heavy cavalry of the innocents Franco-Negro, sweeping over the plains and nations of the enemies of mankind. Fifth century style, unified currency and the concept of cool came in their wake. They wore lamella and carried guns. But first and foremost, Franco-Nigerian heavy cavalry was really, really wide. That hole in the fence must be enormous. Who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. Yeah, but you might know something. This is it. He said they hoisted him up on a tree. Who is this they? If he doesn't know. I picked up on that. Yeah. Before you said they hoisted him up on a tree, who do you mean by they? Uh, oh, people are saying it was the Union dock workers, that it was a lynching. Okay, who's saying that? The locals, the customers, the people who eat here. A lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. Okay. Did the debarders themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? Debarders. Who are the debarders? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. Why do you think the dock workers would lynch this man? I would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. No, I don't think it's just because of boredom. You mean the strike? They're striking. Yes, the strike. The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbor company, I hear. A mercenary. The unionists probably thought they'd send a message. Okay, so they're striking against the harbor company. Took it out on security guard? Well, let's just straight ask it. Did you kill him? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Okay, if you didn't kill him, what else did you do? The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. Well, that's all my option choices here. Let's go. What does this experience do? Okay, so that was a done. That was interview him. Okay. There are hidden objectives. All right. Let's continue. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. Oof. I don't owe you shit. Oh, you don't owe me shit. Well, officer, you're right. You don't owe me shit. You owe me money. Clever. We do not need to assert ourselves here. We only need instructions from him. This is the proprietor, remember? No, he called me a bad word. Sounds like extortion. All right, calm down. What is this about? You know, I get this all the time. Some hobo comes in here or some backpacking arsehole off the boat. The next day, when they can't make their fees, they get aggressive. I just never thought I'd be in this shit with a cop. Please, just give me the money. What do I owe this place for? Let's see. 
Three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Then there's the window you annihilated. The hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 real in damages. Okay, that's 100. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually, more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachol. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. And yes, real is still money. But what exactly is money? What are you, brain damaged? No, I'm just getting my bearings. Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room, or or eight bottles of potent blend, and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. Where can I get it? Are you serious? From your work? I don't know. You can take bribes, I guess. I'm sorry. I don't think cops can take bribes. Some do take recompense, but only to survive. Show them the coins I found. Is this money? Yes, it is. Pretty sure that's not how this is going to work. Count it out to them. 10 plus 10 plus 20 equals 40. Now I'm down to 90, right? No, you see, that's 40 cents. Cents are a form of currency 100 times smaller than the real. I'm not even going to take this. Come back when you have 130 real. <laughs> okay. The cafeteria manager stands silently, looking at the coppers on the counter before him. Isn't it evil? The order of magnitude between what is asked of a person and what they have? Keep it to yourself and pick up the coins. There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. What happens now? I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, then... Okay, so I gotta get 130 real by tonight. Officer, maybe you are better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. I'll see what I can do. I'm sorry I couldn't help more. You should take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car, okay? We have to get this investigation started now. Sure. Good luck. So I gotta pay for the damages. That's my new task. Pay for damages. Ask station for additional funds. All right. Oh, we can use WASD to walk around. Nice. All right, let's look at knowledge. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. I have no idea. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Near? South, maybe? You don't really know, do you? I have only a vague blackened image. A vague blackened image doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Could I trace the way back somehow to the exact street, the exact number on a building? Hobo cop! No, I'm not gonna do that, but that's awesome. You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. So I gained a Maybe thought. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. Let's process this thought so okay so we have a progress bar this gives us plus one encyclopedia so let's internalize this thought so now we're trying to think are we thinking on both of these at the same time it looks like it so i'm trying to figure out yeah it links together i'm trying to figure out where home is and whatever happened to Guillaume Le Million. Sorry about my pronunciation. All right, tab. Let's go and look at the body, shall we? We have a cryptozoologist somewhere around here. That's his wife. Let's 
go outside. Alright, so me and my detective buddy. He said hang a right. Go through the massive hole. Before we do that, what's this? An old coal box with a matrix of push buttons lists all the companies in the East Delta Commerce Center. Okay, main hall, Andrew Orlando Hare. Artemiteps boxing for young athletes in gym. 24 hour window, Emma's fashion at Lear. Fab Fab Fabron's taxi, the rest has been burned off. Slipstream, SCA, Fortress Accident, SCA, Revishaw, Ice City, Main Hall, Building B, Whirling in Rags. Whirling in Rags. We have. Okay, this is Building B, so it would be Building A, maybe? East Delta Pinball. Empty card and leave. All right, we're going to leave that for now. What is this? Rue de Saint Gisseline. Eight Bravo. Okay. Let me go to the crime scene. I think I can talk to my partner too, but let's look at the crime scene first. Okay. Smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. Human being decomposes. Let's talk to this, this kid here. Kuno's got this. The boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than 12. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. Okay. Kind of judgy, but I guess we all are on the inside, even if we don't like to admit it. Oh yeah, Napa Compi Kuno. Napa Compi Kuno. We don't want to tell them we're police. They don't like police. Moment of your time, please. Can't talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. Okay, he knows we're a cop. Doesn't like us. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Hmm. So because of electrochemistry, we know that that is a positive saying for him. All right. Juicy what now? I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Ah. So he's on drugs and he's throwing rocks and he's 12. Okay. Kuno's rising at sea. Okay, there's two kids. Kuno S and Kuno. The rake, Kuno! The rake. You should throw the rake at him, dude! The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. Hmm. See if we'll answer questions. All right, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. Show me what you got. The kid moves his hands like a basketball player dribbling fast. What do you know about the body? Shitload pig. What's your question? Don't tell the pig shit, Kuno! This is where you quickly ask him questions. Real cop questions. Like a cop. Do you know who he was? Kuno's fuck imp. Kuno uses the fuck imp for target practice. Okay. Language. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. So you don't know anything. Kuno knows all kinds of shit. Kuno's not a snitch. That's all. Trying to make the Kuno sing into the popo phone. Yeah, popo phone. I like it. How'd he get up there? Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. 
So you didn't see it happen? You had Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachol. Kuno wasn't regional. Sit down the road. Where'd you go? I don't know. Some fucking... Okay, he's making it up. Mesk or, or... I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno is in fucking Night City. You went to Cyberpunk? There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city <laughs> in some pulp science fiction novel. Yes, it does. Let's have him bury it in it. Where is Night City? Kuno gives this info out on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. Kuno didn't smoke the gimp, if that's what you meant. No, I didn't think you did. Thanks, Kuno. That's one name you can now cross off the list. Have you seen anybody suspicious? Just a couple of pigs sniffing around in the dirt. That seems pretty fucking suspicious to Kuno. True enough. Yeah, you tell the faggoty Kuno. Does that mean what I think it means? Alright, let's talk about something You're else. You're testing Kuno's patience here. I don't care. Get lost, f Okay. Where is this other kid? Who's Kuno? Kuno's Kuno, pig? Okay, so that's himself. It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly the kid's using the third person perspective as a shield. You refer to yourself in a third person to distance yourself from the situation. He won't understand that. So you refer to yourself in a third person. The fuck are you calling a third person? Kuno's the fucking first person. Figured it. All right. Watch out, Kuno. He's trying to fiddle you. He's going to put his hands on you. Oh, there's the other one. Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Rape! Help! He's got the Kuno! Help! Okay, this isn't good. Everyone can hear. You need to get the hell out of here before. Just answer the questions. Help! He's digging his dick out! No. Escalate, Kuno! His dick is out! You're afraid! Pigs in there in Kuno! Somebody, please! Okay. How did we get here? How did this happen? This makes no sense. There may still be a way out. Just appeal to his reason. What is this sick charade? No! <laughs> Get off Kuno, you sick fat fuck! Okay, he's laughing. The nearly psychopathic way they could slip in and out of the act implies you're not the first victim. Who put you up to this? I don't think anybody put him up to it. Are you high right now? Yes, I know he's high right now. Don't punch him. Look. For emphasis, a ghost is saying this. A shit-eating psychopathic ghost with an ace up his sleeve. Okay. I know you wanted to hit me. You got that, I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up look. That Kuno's dad gets. The Aww. murder look. The rage look. Yeah, but I didn't do it. Relax. He can't read your mind. He doesn't know you were thinking that. No, he just assumes I was because he said ac said things and accusations that would cause a normal person to feel that way. There's a dead body, remember. That's what you were doing here. You're a cop on a case. Why don't we get back to the interview, Kuno? know what you thought. I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up. I'm gonna shut that shit down. You know what? You should've. Because now... You're nothing. You're a joke to Kuno. Kuno laughs at you. King Kuno! Okay. Kuno turned you into his prison, bitch. You're gonna be in this shit with Kuno. Doubt it. No, you're not. 
we can just leave. Bitch, you? you're gonna be in this shit with Kuno forever! The peepo-headed critter doesn't let him finish. A peepo is a type of hat, by the way. Oh, well thanks. Nice peepo. You don't talk to me about my fucking peepo! You don't know where I come from! You just Kuno's bottom bitch! Whatever. Okay, Kuno is kind to his bitch. Ask your questions, but remember, this changes shit. Don't think it does. Click, 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 click. Oof, legendary. Kids often play in this yard. Right, this is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo choo. What do you want with it? Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. More questions about the crime scene. Yeah. The kingdom of Kuno. The fuck do you want with it? Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Discuss the body. The fuck about it? You're testing Kuno. Get lost. All right, let's leave. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Okay, weirdo. Our Kuno. Can we go talk to the other one? Yeah, we can. Let's go talk to the other one. Pippo. Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Take a step closer. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pigs come to take me in. Just want to ask you some questions. I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. Not really. What's going on there? Fuck are you trying to pull, pig? Child, converse with me. Murder was the case, was the case they gave me. Okay. See you're a fan of Snoop Dogg? Let's look in the bin. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. Why am I looking at you, trash container? You're just a trash container. Just a trash container? There is no such thing. Your fingers start to itch just looking at that padlock. How do we get the lock open? We could try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage, or... Or? Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the whirling in rags. He probably has one. It's probably a better idea. He might also have information. This is better than the pry bar idea. All right, let's leave. Let's look at this. Letter R wears a crown. Okay, we know what that is. Let's go look at the body. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like, and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. Well, he's been up there a while. You seem to be holding your breath. I'm sure it doesn't smell well. Let's look down. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Let go of your nose out, so, so we're going to throw up. Active decay. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. Alright, let's throw up. He's about to blow! Cop's gonna blow, Kuno! Or we can just turn away. What's this? Kid's ladder is rickety, but still climbable. Okay. It's over here. Someone's trying to grow herbs in this greenhouse. Okay. Forget that we can actually walk with WASD. All right, here's money and magnesium. Can we go over here? Yes, we can. What is this? Winch has been oxidizing for some years. Okay, there's more stuff over here. What's this? 
can we not make it past this? An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Eternite. Eternite. 58. Why am I looking at this pile of the roofing material? This is white. I can redo this, right? Because it's nice and orderly, well laid pallets, rhythmic pattern calms your mind. Mammals like this stuff. Can I do this again? It's locked. Oh, put skill points in the perception to open this. So if I, I need more perception. Why do mammals like this stuff? It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. Glad you asked. When junior researcher Olari Tal invented Etonite in the Vartner Polytechnic Institute some 30 odd years ago, he thought it would last forever. Hence the name, Etonite. Sadly, the only lasting thing turned out to be the material's highly carcinogenic effect. Okay, causes cancer. Good to know. Auto save. And you know what? We're going to do a regular save as well. And we'll pick this up next time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a subscribe, uh, maybe even a comment. Um, let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how I can get better. Uh, I'm having a good time with this game, and I look forward to seeing you guys next episode. And I uh, will see you then. Bye-bye.